everything started in 2010, I think, uh, with squatting Inex film, and most of the people that are that actually came in Catch 22 met in this place. When Inex film broke in 2015, we moved to this building that was uh, uninhabited at that time. Uh, it was a demolished building, full of garbage, but the potential that I saw in, in the first entering the building was incredible. We just started cleaning and fixing and uh, painting and uh, scraping and started the first program already in December of 2015. The program was mostly made by uh, people approaching and wanting to do something here. They had some ideas, they had some projects, they had some bands, they had exhibitions, they had ideas for exhibitions and for lectures and so probably like 70% of program was made by people that were coming and we were just uh, accommodating uh, and facilitating their ideas. We became like a cultural workers collective and uh, helped all of those things happen. happened here is this uh, organic and casual gathering of a lot of young people that was happening on a daily basis. Actually, I, I think that one generation grew up in Kvakar 22. They see this place like something that it's more than a venue, that it's more than a gallery, that is more than a place for uh, cinema. They see it really as a second home, as their thing. Catch-22 actually got the name because of the book Catch-22 and the term that means the situation without solution. So our situation actually with culture in Serbia, in this city, we saw it as, a, as something without the solution, but maybe we uh, wanted to become a part of solution of this problem.